Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel, where I bring you the most interesting and exciting stories from around the world. Today, we're going to talk about the top 10 gangsters and mobsters of all time. These are the people who ruled the underworld with their charisma, cunning, and cruelty. They made fortunes, enemies, and history with their crimes and exploits. So, without further ado, let's get started with the countdown. Number 10. Machine Gun Kelly George Kelly Barnes, better known by his nickname Machine Gun Kelly, was an American gangster and bank robber who terrorized the Midwest in the 1920s and 1930s. He earned his moniker for his preference for using a Thompson submachine gun in his heists. He is most famous for kidnapping the oil tycoon Charles F. Urschel in 1933 and demanding a ransom of $200,000. He was eventually captured by the FBI and sentenced to life imprisonment. He died in 1954 at the age of 59. Number 9. Dino Banyan Charles Dino Banyan was an Irish-American mobster who was the main rival of Al Capone in Chicago during the Prohibition era. He was the leader of the North Side Gang, which controlled the bootlegging and gambling operations in the northern part of the city. He was also involved in the floral business and often arranged the flowers for the funerals of his victims. He was assassinated by Capone's men in 1924 at his flower shop, sparking a bloody gang war that lasted for years. Number 8. Henry Hill Henry Hill Jr. was an American mobster who was associated with the Lucchese crime family in New York. He was involved in various criminal activities, such as drug trafficking, extortion, and murder. He is best known for his participation in the 1978 Lufthansa heist, which was the largest cash robbery in American history at the time. He later became an FBI informant and testified against his former associates in exchange for protection. His life story was adapted into the 1990 film Goodfellas, directed by Martin Scorsese. Number 7. Lucky Luciano Charles Lucky Luciano was an Italian-born gangster, who is considered the father of modern organized crime in the United States. He was the founder and first boss of the Genovese crime family, one of the five families that dominate the mafia in New York. He also played a key role in the formation of the National Crime Syndicate, a coalition of criminal organizations that cooperated to control the illegal markets. He was arrested and deported to Italy in 1936, where he continued to run his empire until his death in 1962. Number 6. John Dillinger John Herbert Dillinger was an American gangster and bank robber who was the most notorious and publicized criminal of the Great Depression era. He led a group known as the Dillinger Gang which was accused of robbing 20 for banks and for police stations. He was a master of escape and evaded the authorities several times, even breaking out of jail with a wooden gun. He was finally shot and killed by the FBI in 1934 outside a movie theater in Chicago. Before we move on to the top 5, I want to remind you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. I upload new videos every week, and I have a lot of amazing topics lined up for you. So, make sure you stay tuned and join the awesome community of my channel. Number 5. John Gotti John Joseph Gotti Jr. was an American gangster and boss of the Gambino crime family, the most powerful and influential mafia group in the country. He was known as the Dapper Don for his expensive suits and lavish lifestyle and as the Teflon Don for his ability to avoid conviction in several trials. He rose to fame by orchestrating the murder of his predecessor, Paul Castellano, in 1985, and took over the leadership of the family. He was eventually convicted of racketeering, murder, and other charges in 1992, and sentenced to life imprisonment. He died of cancer in 2002 at the age of 61. Number 4. Ronald Cray Ronald Ronnie Cray was a British criminal who, along with his twin brother Reggie, ran a gang that dominated the London underworld in the 1950s and 1960s. They were involved in murder, armed robbery, arson, protection rackets, and other illegal activities. They also owned several nightclubs and mingled with celebrities, politicians, and other influential figures. 
They were arrested in 1968 and sentenced to life imprisonment for the murders of George Cornell and Jack the Hat McVitie. Ronnie was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia and spent most of his time in psychiatric hospitals. He died of a heart attack in 1995 at the age of 61. Number 3. Al Capone Alphonse Gabriel Al Capone, also known by the nickname Scarface, was an American gangster and businessman who was the co-founder and boss of the Chicago Outfit, one of the most powerful and notorious crime syndicates in history. He was the undisputed king of the illegal liquor trade during the Prohibition era and made millions of dollars from bootlegging, gambling, prostitution, and other rackets. He was also responsible for the ST. Valentine's Day Massacre, a brutal attack on his rival gang that killed seven people in 1929. He was eventually convicted of tax evasion in 1931 and sentenced to 11 years in prison. He suffered from syphilis and dementia and died in 1947 at the age of 48. Number 2. Pablo Escobar Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria was a Colombian drug lord and narcoterrorist who was the founder and leader of the Medellin Cartel, the most wealthy and ruthless criminal organization in history. He was the main supplier of cocaine to the United States and other countries. And at his peak, he controlled 80% of the global cocaine market. He was also involved in bombings, kidnappings, assassinations, and corruption and waged a war against the Colombian government and its allies. He was dubbed the King of Cocaine and was one of the richest men in the world, with an estimated net worth of $30 billion. He was killed by the Colombian National Police in 1993 at the age of 44. And finally, the number one spot goes to Number 1. El Chapo, Wakun Arcavaldo Guzam Laura, better known by his nickname El Chapo, which means shorty, is a Mexican drug lord and former leader of the Sinaloa cartel, one of the most powerful and violent drug trafficking organizations in the world. He is considered the most influential and notorious drug lord of all time, surpassing even Pablo Escobar. He was involved in the production, distribution, and smuggling of cocaine, heroin, methamphetamine, and marijuana, and earned billions of dollars from his illicit business. He was also notorious for his escapes from prison, having broken out twice from high security facilities in Mexico. He was extradited to the United States in 2017 and convicted of various charges, including drug trafficking, money laundering, and murder in 2019. He was sentenced to life imprisonment plus 30 years and is currently serving his time in a supermax prison in Colorado. So, there you have it, guys. The top 10 gangsters and mobsters of all time. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Who is your favorite gangster of all time? And who do you think should have been on this list? I'd love to hear your opinions and suggestions. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.